Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update GarageBand to the latest version. So this is GarageBand and the only way to update it on your Mac will be right here in your App Store. So if you guys don't see App Store down here below, doesn't matter, just go to your Apple logo in the top left hand side of your Mac and your third option will say App Store. Okay, this is the only way to update GarageBand. So you guys might see this and then you guys will see the last tab where it says updates. You guys will see GarageBand there. Now let's say you guys don't see GarageBand here. It's not loading up or something like that. Well, don't worry about it. Just go to Featured. And well, you guys could go anywhere really. And right here on the top right hand side, just type in GarageBand. Right? So we're going to search for it. And right here, okay, your icon should pop up and it should say update. Okay? Now let's say you guys still don't see update. Just Click on GarageBand, the actual name, and right here, you guys can click finally on update. So we can do it from here, or you guys can go right here and just update it from here. Once you guys press update, it's just gonna update, okay? Um, there's nothing for you guys to do. Um, if, let's say, your Mac turns off before the downloading of the update, it's like in halfway there or something like that, don't worry about it, it's just downloading. Um, and that'll probably not happen since it's a pretty small update. You guys will see that it's only 154 megabytes. For most of you, that's going to be done in one to two minutes. Uh, if you have really slow internet, maybe you're looking at 10 minutes, but that's with extremely slow internet. I doubt any of you are going to wait 10 minutes for this. And then the installation process will only take Mm, well, what we're looking at is from one to five minutes, depending on your max speed. But really, for most of you, the average should be around two minutes for an installation process. Um, again, once you guys press update, it's just going to download and install by itself. It's not going to need a restart. Obviously, you shouldn't have your GarageBand actual app open in order to do this. Um, and then if you guys have any other updates right here in the list, then it might take a little bit longer, right? So it, it all depends what you're doing on your Mac. So in my case, I'm actually doing a lot. <laughs> There's a lot happening in my Mac at the moment. So that's why um, the installation process might take even a little bit longer than for most of you, for example. Um, anyways, right now we can see that GarageBand just updated. It's all good. So if you guys open up GarageBand, so let's just type in GarageBand. And here we go. Okay, for most of you, you guys will not see this just because um, this is the first time opening GarageBand in this Mac. Um, I haven't used it before. So that's why it's downloading some stuff that it wouldn't for you guys, all right? Um, however, you guys could skip the step. So let's just skip the step because, again, for most of you, you guys will not need to download this. It's um, 600 megabytes, so it's a little bit, you know, um, a little bit more than half a gig. So that means it will take a little bit longer for some of you, a little bit shorter for others. But let's just download that later. And so you guys can see the interface and everything. So we're just gonna go new, there we go. And here we go. So this is GarageBand. So right now you guys, you guys can see if it actually lets me. It's not letting me click on about GarageBand. All right, that's okay. <laughs> I just have to keep downloading what it needs to download. And um, don't worry if you guys skipped it like me, you guys can go back to it and then it's gonna keep downloading, it's no problem. But uh, this is the interface you guys can see. Uh, we can go recents, lesson store, learn to play, a new project, okay? So yeah, this is just an overview of the installation process, download, and that's it. If you guys want a full tutorial, just look into my other videos, all right? Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.